Hello everybody. Um, welcome back to Night Sky. In the last episode we took care of Murky Depths, which was actually really short compared to the other areas. And now we're moving on to Giant Leaf. Now, this is an interesting vehicle. Um, very bizarre. Easy. That one's fun. Oh, yeah, I remember this stage actually, now that I think about it. I like this song. This one's nice. Also, I see a secret. Yeah. This, these like little spinny things always trip me up because there's a few of them throughout the game. There's a few in Perpetuum Factory. There's one in Old Ruins, I think. There's one in Skimmening. There's one there. I think in an earlier episode I said that the the steady power up never gets replaced. Uh, I kind of lied. It gets replaced in vehicles instead of, like, getting a new power-up entirely. Like how the speed gets replaced with gravity sometimes. Oh. Some of these areas remind me of Oddworld, of all things. Like, some of the outside areas of that place. Uh, Oddworld's Abe, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. Some of them a little bit. And I haven't played much of that game, so I could be completely wrong about that. From what I've seen, it sort of reminds me of that. That reminds me, I need to play Odd World New and Tasty. Because I hear that's pretty good. Okay, you do that. And then you have to get this thing across, right? Okay, cool. I'm actually having a little bit of trouble with this. Ooh. 
don't think I've ever heard this song. Like, I've played this game a lot. But I don't think I've ever heard this one. It's nice. I like the, the xylophone. Yeah, this song is pretty good. I'll need to look into it and see what it's called. Alright. Is there a secret down there? No, it's just... Alright. Just a reason for the platform to be there, I guess. But you don't get any... S oh, you do get steady in this one. Never mind. I think that it is possible to make it across without the steady power-up, though. Well, this is like an extension of the vehicle I was talking about before. Very loud. Um, I think there's a star in this stage. Yes, there is. And I messed it up. Cool. Yay, I did it. Alright. I'm really happy to be playing this game again. Like, I, have, I haven't been really saying a whole lot commentary-wise, but... Um, I do miss playing this game, because I used to play it all the time. I was short. Wow. Um, I guess I can try to put Aurora's North into this level, or into this video. Because that was really short, actually. Yeah. It's weird, because I remember that area being much longer. Is that giant leaf, actually? Hold on. Yeah, it was. Wait, did I get all the stars in it? Yep. Okay. Like recovery. No, I have to go this way. That's right. I don't know how to feel about this song. It's a little bit weird. So I saw a secret back here. Um, push it into this little divot, I guess. Bounce up there. Cool. I got it this time. 
No, I don't. No, 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 no. Never mind. That wasn't good either. Okay. Bop. No, don't do this to me, please. Cool. an interesting level. I like that. It's a cool concept. For some reason I remember there being a secret in this level, but I guess not. That's weird. Then again, my memory is like awful. If you ever watched uh, my early Tulip streams, I was doing attempts of that game for a long time actually. I remember this level. This one's cool. This one's really cool. I love that so much. It's so cool. It's an interesting idea. I think the alternative version is just the same thing, but without... But they, like, take away a steady... Maybe that's this level. Yeah, I think it is this one that they did that for. Never mind. Oh, 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 I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that we were done. Most, I, I don't think, like, I, I think it's, I forgot to mention this before. But every level in this game has three th three screens, and that's like a guarantee, I'm pretty sure. I think there's only one that has four. It's way later anyways. Please go faster. <laughs> there we go. Again, this is a really cool level idea. I love this. That's probably one of my favorite levels. And I wish that they would expand upon it more. This one's very floaty. A little bit unpredictable, I guess. Takes a lot more time to get going upwards. So I'm glad it wasn't one of, like, the bottomless pit stages, if that makes sense. There's probably a secret up there. So, more, I guess the, since I don't really have much to talk about now, um, well, there wasn't a secret. It was just, like, Alternative path, I guess. 
But um, I guess that since there's not really a whole lot for me to talk about right now, I guess I can talk more about the developer of this game, uh, Nicholas Nygren. Um, he's made quite a few games, actually. Um, he made Night Sky, and then Within a Deep Forest, which I've talked about before. And then he's also made a game called Ernog. And I also really like that one. Because that one's a lot of fun. Also, I messed that up. It's basically based around, um... Like, being able to pick up crates and use them. And, like, it's a really interesting idea. Very simple, but very interesting. Um... The Great Work is one that I tried to play for a little bit, but I couldn't really get it. Like, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to do. But it looked very nice, and it had an interesting feel to it. So I still consider it to be pretty good. And then there was another one that was sort of like a precursor to Ernog. Which I can't remember the name of, but... turning out to be a lot longer than I thought, than I initially thought. Now, this is interesting. They give you, like, little boosters in a way. Because it can't, like, go upwards on its own. I think this is the final stage of this area. If I remember correctly. Yep, it is. So we'll we'll get into this place later. But for now, um thank you for watching. It's been a long episode, and it's longer than the other ones actually, so uh thank you for sticking with it. Um next time we'll do slightly nonsense, which is the final area and yeah we'll finish the game see ya